she was looking. Um, hello everybody. We're in our bathroom. This is my sister. Hi. She's marvelous, and I couldn't do my hair without her. Basically, um, so I'm very grateful. So I'm going to talk you through what I do. Yeah, look, this is what this happens. Is when it's greasy, it just stays in a position. But it's actually really nice. So a minute ago, my hair looked really pretty. But now yeah. it's gone. It often happens, doesn't it, that your hair goes really nice the day before you're about to wash it. It's typical price. Which is why my new combing thing hopefully will work. Anyway, I'm going to do this on time lapse <clears throat> and then do like an over thing. Sounds That's a good plan. Very exciting and professional. <laughs> okay, see you soon. My other tip is get one of these, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Menti. <laughs> this is not and product placement. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but she's very helpful. <sighs> okay. Okay, so my hair's all nice and wet. We've used a combination of really diluted detangler spray. This is the L'Oreal Kids one, and it smells really nice. <laughs> really nice, apparently. <laughs> I think it smells a bit like window cleaner, but anyway. Um, it, it works. <coughs> it works. That's good. Um, so what we do now is we basically do a cocktail of everything that we want to put on the hair because that's how it works. So I'm using baby shampoo, which is just a really nice gentle general cleaner. Uh, a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. And did you know it's actually better to condition and then shampoo your hair? It makes it more voluminous. And people with thin hair, oh, I have to shave my bald spot. I don't know why I'm getting excited about that because that's just really depressing. But anyway, um, and then oh, my tip is oh, and head and shoulders as well. But it's running out, so I'm going to use that. But it's like a whole cocktail of things, and um, it's to you baby lotion oh, as your sort of big conditioner because it's great and it smells really nice and um, it seems to be more long-lasting than other conditioners in my opinion anyway back to time-lapse people Okay, so that didn't take too long. I've already put uh, the argan oil on and on my face as well, it's really nice for the face. And now my very kind Melody is going to... <laughs> Hi everyone! <laughs> is going to blow dry it. Yay! In time lapse. <laughs> So basically the reason I do the uh, washing the hair before you get in the shower is that I find that um, even when I'm on my shower stool, um, which I have a three prong shower stool, um, which I just sit on in the bathroom in the shower, even that is just so uncomfortable after a while. Yeah, so basically my tip is to wet and soap or like shampoo and condition your hair while you are still warm and dry so like you saw um, I wasn't in the shower when I did all that um, so basically when you're in the shower you're literally just rinsing which is really quick um, also you have the added benefit that um, because obviously you're sitting and then you've got to get undressed before you get in the shower um, it sits in your scalp and in your hair for a lot longer which gives it a much better clean that this this will last for a nice long time, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, using the cocktail as well that that's really helpful. And then what I tend to do, I might actually do a video about this, but what I tend to do is um, to sort of help with my balance, and because obviously if you've got your head back and you're closing your eyes, you can get really dizzy. So I put my elbow on the wall. So I just sort of know where I am in space kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Excellent. Hooray. Also, my other tip is to, because obviously you're soaping your hair beforehand, is wear something that's ready to go in the wash. So then you can just literally put it over your head and it doesn't matter if it gets soapy because it's going to go in the wash. <laughs>